Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at a key stage three biology video about seed dispersal. Seed dispersal. So the first thing to do after we just highlighted the title there is just to explain what we mean by dispersal. And the best way to explain that would be to say that it's just like spreading. Seed dispersal is like seed spreading. Here is an example. We've got a pea plant. And what these plants tend to do is to spread their seeds, the peas, which are the seeds, quite a distance away from the parent plant. If they didn't do that, the seeds would often fall or could fall near the parent plant. And not only are they near the parent plant, but as you can see, they're quite crowded. They're quite closely packed together. So these are crowded. So that means there is more competition between the seeds. What are they competing for? Well, they all need light, sunlight for photosynthesis. They need water and they need nutrients from the soil. And because they're all crowded and packed together, they're going to be competing for those. Whereas these ones over here on the right hand side, these are spread further apart. So there's less competition for all those resources less competition, which means they can grow taller, healthier, and have less competition to get light, water, and nutrients. So there are four main ways that we're going to look at for seed dispersal. The first one is when we use the wind or when plants use the wind. And a very common and easy example is that of the dandelion. So I'm sure you've all done this before. Here's a dandelion with all the seeds and the wind will come along and blow the seeds off the plant and away they go to be spread far and wide, carried by the wind. So this is one example of the four ways. So let's just make a note of those four different ways. So the first one we just said was using the wind and we're just gonna add one more example to that in fact. So we've got the dandelion seeds there on the right that we've seen, but we've also got a seed attached to a wing. I'm sure you've seen these before as well. When the wind blows, they spin in the wind and allows them to fly and be carried away from the parent plant. The dandelion seed has a feathery and light part at the top there, feathery and light, so it can be carried easily. And at the bottom is a small seed. And that can be easily carried by the wind. So this is the first way that we're looking at for seed dispersal. Another way is using animals to disperse seeds. Here we have a type of seed inside a little brown casing, but if you look on the outside, let's just make that a bit bigger to make that a bit clearer. You can see there are some little structures that are hooks as shown there. Now these can actually attach to fur. So hooks attach to the fur of animals. And they can be carried away and then dropped somewhere far away from the parent plant. One other way animals can be used is when we have birds that are used. So birds might eat either berries or fruits. Birds eat berries and fruits. And the seeds in these are usually non-digestible, cannot be digested. So that means a little while later, when the bird, when the, when the seed passes through the digestive system and the bird poops, we'll have a little bit of uh, poop and we'll have the seed inside the poop. We should probably say the word feces, which is a science word for poop, but that will spread the seed further away. We also have the use of water. And water is used for the kinds of seeds that can float. Now here's an example. This is a coconut. And you might gather from the diagram that it, ha it has floated on some water, reached some land, and then started to grow. So that's been spread very far away from the parent. So any seeds that are water dispersed, the seed or the seeds are adapted to float. They're gonna be good at floating. That's water. 
We also have one quite interesting way as well, which we don't often see. And that's when we have, I suppose the best way to say it is when we have an explosion. This is when seeds are spread as a result of a force exerted by the seed pods. Okay, so here is the green part, which is the seed pod. And this will often dry out in these kinds of plants and squeeze as it dries out. It squeezes on the seeds until there's so much pressure on them that they pop out and they are spread further away or spread away from the parent plant. Okay, so four ways of seed dispersal that you should know and remember and, to, and be able to describe and give reasons for. If you haven't already done so, you can download the work along sheet that has all these diagrams and you can make notes as you go along with the video.